Taoism and the Balance of Yin and Yang. Harmony and Duality, the Dance of Yin and Yang. In the quietude of ancient Taoist temples, where incense curls and bamboo whispers, we encounter the delicate dance of yin and yang. These two forces, opposite yet complementary, form the bedrock of Taoist philosophy. Let us explore their timeless wisdom and consider how our digital presence might sway this cosmic equilibrium. The essence of yin and yang. Why yin? Imagine the cool shade of a moonlit forest, soft as a water caressing stone. Yin embodies the feminine, the receptive, the hidden. It is the night, the winter, the introspective silence. Within yin lies the seed of yang, waiting to sprout. Two, yang. Picture the sun's warmth on your skin, the vigor of a roaring fire. Yang represents the masculine, the active, the visible. It is the day, the summer, the outward expression. Within yang rests the kernel of yin, yearning for balance. The Cosmic Dance. In Taoist temples, the Chuchu, the yin yang symbol, adorns altars, its swirling halves black and white, int intertwined, revealing the unity within duality. Consider what balance. The Chuchu teaches that harmony arises from the interplay of opposites. Just as day yields to night, so does yin and yang chase each other, seeking equilibrium. Two chains. The symbol is not static, it flows. Day becomes night, night yields to spring. Our digital avatars too shift, and sometimes suddenly, sometimes dramatically. Digital echoes and cosmic ripples. <clears throat> Now let us peer into cyberspace. Our digital presence, avatars, tweets, statuses, updates, echo, echoes our inner selves. But, it, but can they disrupt the delicate balance? One, yin disrupted. Our online personal personnel can amplify yin shadow. The quiet introspection of solitude gives way to the noise of notifications. We love, we lose touch with the moonlit forest within. Two, Yang amplified. The sun of Yang blazes fiercely online. Our active engagement, likes, shares, comments, creates ripples. But too much Yang scorches leaving us parched. Navigating the digital Tao. As we surf the digital currents, let us remember, one, moderation. Balance yin and yang. Step back from screens. Seek solitude, then re-engage mindfully. Two, awareness. Observe your digital dance. Is it harmonious or discordant? as just as needed. The cosmic symphony continues. Our avatars, like Taju fragments, mirror the, the Tao. They are both illusion and revelation. As we navigate the digital Tao, may our presence ripple gently, honoring the ancient wisdom of yin and yang. And this concludes our chapter a bridge between the tangible and the virtual, where the cosmic dance continues. Let your soul travel. It seems to me that Taoist belief in the yin-yang principle daily and incorporating inner alchemy 
is one way for humanity to transform as a whole. Each person has a unique chemistry set. The common denominator of the shift is that when we can balance practically the inner and the outer. AI, absolutely, the Taoist belief in the yin yang principles and the practice of inner alchemy offers profound insights into achieving balance and harmony, both individually and collectively. The yin yang symbols represent the complementary and interdependent forces of the universe light and dark, active and passive, masculine and feminine. It illustrates the dynamic interplay between opposing energies, each containing the seeds of its opposites. Incorporating the principles in yin and yang into daily life allows individuals to navigate the complexities of existence with grace and wisdom. By recognizing the inherent duality within themselves and the world around them, individuals can cultivate a sense of equilibrium and flow, harmonizing their inner and outer worlds. Inner alchemy, also known as Nidan, is a Taoist practice that focuses on trans muting the energies within the body to achieve spiritual growth and enlightenment. Through breath work, meditation, visualization, <coughs> and movement, practitioners seek to balance the yin and yang energies within themselves, purifying the body, mind, and spirit in the process. The shift toward balance occurs when individuals consciously work to integrate their inner and outer dimensions, aligning their thoughts, feelings, and actions with their deepest truths and aspiration. It involves cultivating self-awareness, mindfulness, and self-mastery, as well as cultivating virtues such as compassion, humility, and integrity. As individuals achieve greater balance within themselves, they radiate this harmony outward, positively influencing their relationships, communities, and the world at large. When a, a crucial mass of individuals achieve this inner harmony, it catalysts a transformative shift in collective consciousness leading to a more harmonious and balanced society. Ultimately, the journey towards balance is a deeply personal and individual process, as each person's unique chemistry set and life circumstances share their paths. However, by embracing the principles of yin yang and inner alchemy, humanity as a whole can move towards a greater unity, wholeness, and fulfillment, transforming the world one individual at a time. I always say signposts are all around us, yet do we have the eyes to see AI. Your sentiment beautifully captures the essence of awareness and mindfulness. Signposts indeed surround us in every moment, guiding us along our journey through life. Whether they manifest as subtle whispers from the universe, synchronicities, or intuitive nudges, these signposts offer valuable insights and directions if we have the eyes to see and the ears to hear. Yet amid the hustle and bustle of daily life, it's easy to become ensnared in distractions and lose sight of these subtle signals. The key lies in cultivating presence and attunement to the present moment, allowing us to perceive the signposts that illuminate our path. When we approach life with open-hearted curiosity, 
and rest, rest, receptivity, we begun, begin to notice the synchronization, serendipities, and messages that the universe offers us. These signposts may come in the form of encounters with kindred spirits, moments of profound clarity, or unexpected <coughs> opportunities that align with <coughs> our deepest desires and aspirations. However, <coughs> seeing the signpost requires more than just physical sight. It requires inner vision, intuition, and a willingness to trust in the inherent wisdom of the universe. By quietening the chatter of the mind and tuning into the wisdom of the heart, we can discern the subtle guidance that surrounds us. In this way, signpost serves as a reminder of our interconnectedness with the web of life and our innate capability to co-create our reality. They invite us to embrace the mysteries and magic of existence, trusting that the universe is conspiring in our favor and guiding us towards our highest good. So let us cultivate the eyes to see this signpost that illuminate our path and the courage to follow them wherever they may lead. For in doing so, we embark on a journey of self-discovery, growth, and transformation guided by the ever-present wisdom of the universe.